Good morning friends. Welcome to Pannika Tutorials YouTube channel. In the last few videos, I have discussed about mission independent code optimization. I hope you have watched those videos. If you did not watch those videos, I request you to go back and watch those videos and come back to this video for better understanding. In this video, I want to discuss about mission dependent code optimization meaning is that these code optimization techniques will depend on the mission it may be vary from each mission to mission that's why it is called as mission dependent code optimization techniques so i request everyone to watch the complete video for better understanding come to the first mission dependent code optimization technique is register allocation now it will be vary from each mission to mission why because one mission will have some 16 registers, another may mission may have 32 registers and one mission can have 16 bit registers, another one may have 32 bit registers, is it clear? So it will vary from each mission to mission. And another one is addressing mode. We have discussed in the computer organization course about various addressing modes such as 10 addressing modes I have discussed, I think. What are they? direct addressing mode, indirect addressing mode, register direct addressing mode, register indirect address mode like that I have discussed about the 10 addressing mode. Now even the addressing modes, the number of addressing modes depend on the mission to mission. So even it will be depend on the mission and coming to the redundant load or store elimination. What is the meaning of this one? I will discuss now. Suppose let's take that you have an instruction Let's take that x is equal to a plus b is there. Now how you will perform this instruction? You will first perform move, okay, some r not register and this b value you will shift or first you will shift the a, means you will move this a value in the register r not. Similarly, you will move this b value in r1. So this r not is the destination and a is the source. Similarly, R1 is the destination and B is the source. Now, what I will do, I will perform add, okay, R0, comma R1. So, what is the meaning of this one? This is nothing but R0 is equal to R0 plus R1. Is it clear? So, indirectly, it is nothing but A plus B is happening, okay. Now, this result A plus B will be stored in the R0 register. Now what I will write, I will write as called move, okay. So these are the load instruction and this is the store instruction. What I am doing, x comma r naught, meaning is that first I have stored this a value to r naught, b value to r1, then I perform the addition, then I have written move x comma r naught. This is correct only. Now let's take that you have another instruction called y is equal to x plus z is there. Now for this one what you will write x plus z again you will write move okay some r1 okay r1 comma x is it clear are you able to understand or let me take the r0 itself r0 comma x move r1 comma z okay then what you will write let me write here add okay you will write r0 comma r1 the result will be the addition of r0 and r1 and the result will be stored in r0 that you need to move to the y so you will write move y comma what you will write r0 this is okay because this one what you are doing this entire four instructions is performing x is equal to a plus b the next four instructions is performing what y is equal to x plus z okay this is individually is okay but can we reduce the these instructions how can we reduce instead of writing this instruction move x comma r naught i can write because this value only i want to perform so these three statements are same this instruction if instead of moving x comma r naught what i will do is that move r1 comma z okay add r0 comma r1 i will write why because already in r0 the x value is there 
am i right x is equal to a plus b r naught is nothing but r naught plus r1 so here in this position r naught is having the a plus b which is nothing but x instead of again storing that r naught value into the x because in the next instruction i need the x plus z so what i will do is that move r1 comma z then add r naught comma r1 then i will write move y comma r naught now y this is depend on the mission this mission if you have a intelligent mission if it can detect the next instruction or it can identify the next instruction is depending on this x value then only you can reduce it if the your mission does not have the capability to detect the next instruction and it is having the x value here then you need to perform the eight instructions otherwise we have can reduce the number of instructions so this one will depend on the mission so that's why it comes in the category called mission dependent optimization so i hope you have understood what is the redundant load and store elimination okay are you able to understand it or not now let me discuss about the next important one control flow optimization this control flow optimization is again classified into two types avoid unnecessary jumps okay unnecessary jumps or go to statements or another one is eliminate dead code okay eliminate dead code so this one is called in the flow control optimization now let me discuss about the avoid unnecessary jumps or go to statement let's take that you have a go to l1 is there now when you went for the label l1 there is an instruction called go to l2 is there okay see this is your some instruction in l1 label you have go to l2 now here l2 it is saying that go to l3 so this instead of writing these many things here itself you can write go to l3 directly you can go instead of going from l1 to l2 from l2 to l3 directly you can write here go to l3 again your mission should have an intelligence to identify this one am i right so if you can do it then we can say that we are avoiding the unnecessary jumps or go to statements is it clear are you able to understand it or not now let me discuss about eliminating the dead code what is the eliminating of the dead code is there let's take that you have initialized x value is equal to 0 if x is there and you have written some instructions and in the entire program the x value is not changing let's take that in in the entire program the x value is not changing if x value is 0 can you tell me whether this if condition will execute or not obviously you will say that this if condition will never execute means it will not execute if it does not execute what are the statements in this if condition will they execute in any one at least once in the program they will never execute in the entire program if we have such code that code we will call it as a dead code if you have a dead code why to convert into three address code and do it you can remove this dead code am i right or wrong is it clear if you have the dead code convert into three address code even in the three address code if you identify invert instead of converting to assembly language you can remove such dead codes is it clear i hope you have understood about the how to detect the dead codes and how to eliminate if we eliminate that one we can reduce the number of instructions in the assembly code because the compiler will convert the high level language to the assembly code am i right or wrong now let me discuss about use of mission items let's take that i want to perform i plus plus is nothing but i is equal to i plus one okay now what i can do is that move r naught comma i meaning is that i value i am moving to the register r naught then what i will do add r naught comma one and then move i comma r naught will you agree with me whether this is doing i is is equal to i plus one or not you check it initially what i am doing 
i value whatever is there i am moving to the register r not and for that r not i am adding the value 1 this is nothing but r not is equal to r not plus 1 and that r not value again i am storing so which is nothing but indirectly it is performing i is equal to i plus 1 if you have a machine item called i n c i this is nothing but what increment the i value whether this and this are same or not increment i value means you are incrementing the i value if you have such instruction you are performing this i is equal to i plus 1 in a single instruction if you does not have support of this instruction increment i then you have to perform the same instruction with three instructions are you able to understand if you have i and c one then you can perform the i is equal to i plus one in a single instruction otherwise if you does not have increment item then the same operation you can perform with the three instructions so again here we are doing the code optimization this machine items whether it is there or not it depend on the mission so that's why it comes in the mission dependent code optimization now let me discuss the next important one which is a strength reduction what is a strength reduction suppose let's take that you are performing a is equal to b into 2 instead of this one you can perform a is equal to b plus b if your machine have the addition then you are reducing the costly operation which is multiplication what is meant by costly operation usually the multiplication will take more clock cycles as compared to the addition so those who have watched my videos related to the computer organization they know what is meant by this clock cycles in the pipeline i have discussed am i right or wrong so multiplication usually will take more clock cycles as compared to the addition so that's why this one multiplication we will call it as a costly operation we will try to reduce it meaning is that instead of performing multiplication the same thing i can perform the addition so here we are reducing the strength now why it is calling as a mission dependent because if your mission does not support the addition then obviously you have to perform the multiplication only is it clear so these are the various code optimization techniques which come in the mission dependent code optimization i hope all the techniques whatever i have discussed in this video you have understood if you still have any doubts related to the concepts which i have discussed in this video feel free to ask me in the comment section i will try to clear your doubts in less than 24 hours thank you for watching the complete video have a nice day